our king's edicts. And so I ask, oh, 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 not do something? So when Blumos will do us all as Protect your servants when you mess up. You will not hurt justice. Defy Alfred's laws. The degenerates must be punished. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. found on the quill. <laughs> the 
A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? It may be I should take my Dane Guild now, leave you to the snakes that remain. Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some. See where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death, then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth. Winchester a place! Roly poly mutton man, you can't catch me! Oh, God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Kira sot liche. 
I need your eyes, my friend. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. Days like this, things just go whoosh. Well, oi, Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? You! Like it. Mine! <laughs> the call of Look at that gear! <laughs> Can't win, Reaver! Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? What is so important that you would risk his little neck for it? Keep your sticky beak out of our business. Whose business? The Quills? Us? Working for the Quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the Quills thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that.
Show me what lies ahead. I should watch out for a mousetrap. <laughs> what do you see, Sunan? Let's see you, old friend. Valde in regno de Egypti Faraoni, obsessus cum profeta Mosi imprecari mala magna que fecerat, deus Mosi et somniorum. today. Everyone I died. I like the pretty things. And left me alone but on Magister the street. But Magister stealing is wrong. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. to marry King Alfred, and he's going to whisk me away from all this toil.
a she? Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Yours not good. <laughs>
Dane wants my blood. Show yourself, murderer! No more running! Winchester will see your crime! Come, child. Whisper what you've learned, and Mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. Use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit. Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Ah! My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Goodman said to meet him at an alehouse nearby.
Quale dilexe? Ego solver. You think you can guzzle the grog? Prove it! Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arib do exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. A reward will ease my hurt. As much silver as a long ship can carry. All in good time. A Witten has been called to deal with our dead bishop. When this business is done, Alfred will shower you with silver. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much steered in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. <laughs> Wait up. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Elpo? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aylford, scorched of face. Eternal all bliss, all companions, where joy endures for all those weeping. beloved of God. Weeping as you are, uh... Sleeping. Perfect, yes. Only his face was burned. That seems like a strange accident. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aylforth was a brute. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. I'm sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him, more than a sister should. 
stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wimber is always here. Helping the sleeping. Singing to them. So they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone heard Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Not just stolen, but burned. Are we friends now? Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace then. Are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Threadbare clothes. Yet they belong to Wemba's friend. This funeral is a shadow play. The order killed an innocent. Bird. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here, but I know the truth. You would dare speak to me, when my poor brother Aelfirth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right! They won't do you any good. Guards! Protect me! Destroy the dog off! Leave me alone! Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. my wares. You never know when this might come in handy. You would look very striking with this. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. This is a very good piece. This could be very useful. 
Glad to replenish your stock. of you to stock up. Nothing else? I have to go. See you soon.
Acciones. must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wall. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf. It's but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He was not a Christian, 
He abhorred your god. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Do you see?
Aelfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. first secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Must be blocked from the other side. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin. Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. You had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Return to Haitham and Ramni. They will want to know what happened here.
I will return to Haitham and Ramvi. They will want to know what happened here. Welcome, Bjorn. May you find a new home here among the Raven Clan. I hope to. And I will start now. Please, Raja, tell us another! Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one did you know. in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one.
Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we are able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Good. Shall we then, Eivor, to Norway, and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! <laughs> 